Right, so we're here at Embedded World 2019 at the On Semiconductor stand and we're meeting with Martin Embacher. Martin, what are you showing here? What are you demonstrating here? So what we are showing here is our new um, multi-sensor node based upon our latest Bluetooth device, the RSL10. This uh, multi-sensor node has a multitude of sensors from our partner Bosch in this case um, and it also has our NFC part uh, with an external antenna, different buttons and so on. It also comes besides a complete development system which you can download from our web page with a mobile app which is showing all the different sensor data um, in a very simple application. That also allows cloud connectivity, so you can put all the sensor data into any cloud you want, starting from IBM, uh, Microsoft Azure, Google, and, and AWS as well. An example here is um, a vertical application for a working safety helmet. So the device is put on here, it could be a case on top of it with a button in the center. And if you actually move the helmet, you see um, some movement um, in the app to demonstrate that the worker is still doing something and he's not standing still um, or has a problem. And it's also got the safety aspect that if something happens to him, that can be monitored as well. That's correct. Even so, it has like the, uh, a microphone on it and it has the, the motion sensors. You could also knock on the helmet and you actually see some movement here which you can use for some sort of haptic information and to do something. Hey, that's great. And we're going to have a look around the corner at the other new device you've got. Yes. Okay, so this is our latest Power Over Ethernet um, power controller. Now it goes up to 90 watts. The typical went up to 40 watts in the past. This has a single Ethernet cable um, coming in here and up to 90 watts LED. And we built a complete application scenario around this one, including LED lighting control and again a Bluetooth um, connection in order to control the light. So you have an energy harvesting switch, you flip the switch, you turn on the light and you turn it off. If you press it short, you can also dim it um, as well. That application, besides the Bluetooth, has also a very neat device, which is an ultra-high voltage linear regulator, which is used for a bias to supply um, the microcontroller here, um, which has good advantages if it comes to standby, because the linear regulator is only um, utilizing as much power as the end application is using. So if there's nanoamps here, then this is nanowatts, which are dissipated in difference to like a higher voltage range if you use traditional voltage droppers or so. And what type of end uses would this have? We've obviously got energy harvesting, but would there be other, other uses for this? So energy harvesting is, is for the switches. Um, you can deploy them easily without any cables, right? So if you look at homes or so, you could just put them anywhere on the wall. Um, and then the higher power supply allows with either a regular Ethernet cabling, which is already there, um, you could easily distribute the power to different devices, which could be cameras, um, which could be light, uh, which could be access points and so on um, over, over the Ethernet um, as well. So a lot of applications and it just simplifies the wiring because you just have straight wires in the ceiling. Um, rather than having individual wires from every switch into the lamp and back, right? That's wonderful. Thank you very much. You're welcome.